As a forecasting company, we try to look at emerging threats. Intelligence surfaced this week over concerns for border violence against journalists that cover cartel violence from Mexico. In this week's Above the Terror Line, we're going to examine the challenges of making sense of this kind of emerging threat, as well as how we go about attempting to corroborate or refute the information. Being a journalist or an investigative reporter in Mexico is an extremely dangerous job. Organizations like Reporters Without Borders reports that there's been 80 journalists killed in Mexico since 2000. And recently, we had two female journalists found naked, bound, and killed in Mexico City. The intelligence we received this week is from a very reliable source of Stratfor that express very specific concern for this emerging threat against journalists inside the United States, especially those in close proximity to the border. When Stratfor receives a report like this from a reliable contact, we take great strides to attempt to corroborate or refute the data point, meaning we go about contacting our other sources in state and local and federal law enforcement, as well as foreign police, in this case Mexico, in an effort to see what they may know about this concern and to seek out their assessment as to whether or not this could be a viable threat. One of the things that we did to connect the dots is we have had over the years anecdotal information from various media contacts and investigative journalists of the exact same fear. We've had reports of journalists being relocated out of concerns surrounding this exact issue, and in essence, protective security measures being taken by various media outlets to protect themselves from this kind of issue. One of the other things we do in an effort to corroborate or refute a source report is we'll gather together the tactical team that puts together the Mexico Security Weekly and discuss in great detail whether or not we think this is a viable threat and we'll unpack that threat to see if it makes sense or if it's something that just is totally off the wall. The above the tear line aspect with this video is the fear that the cartels have the capability to suppress the open source as to what's taking place in Mexico or along the border and in essence shape the perception of what the cartels are doing. We have already seen this happen inside of Mexico. There's been a reduction of investigative journalists. We've had numerous killed and intimidated and if this threat is now coming across the border, this is an issue that most of us have to look at very closely and think about the ramifications of the spillover effect and the ability of the cartels to shape the news inside the United States.